just in my neighborhood on a warm summer's morning just by the beach and I have the CPK3 that I reviewed in recent videos. This is a little multi-band receiver that covers medium wave, FM, some long wave including aircraft beacons and quite a lot of short wave bands. Let's find a nice place to sit, throw up a wire antenna and see what I can hear. A few trees for the antenna. If you don't have a squid pole with you, which I didn't today, these things are fantastic to be tying wire around and chucking into trees for your antennas. They've even got inbuilt grooves, which means the wire is unlikely to come off. I've got some long wave here. KII, which we've heard before. WYY, it's Northern Tasmania. This is the first of our shortwave stations. Stations are very close together, so I'm on one of the wider range bands. Thank you. 
This is quite an active band. I'm guessing, because of the time of day, it's a band like 31 metres around 10 megahertz. Jammer there. You might be able to see there's a bit of backlash in the tuning here. I need to fit a better quality potentiometer. And this is SSB. Can't demodulate it, but it is a weather forecast. It can be difficult to work out if you've changed the band or not, so a good idea before changing band, put the dial on a weak station, then if you change the band you'll hear a change in the noise, just like that. To cap off the tuning, I've just put it onto the favourite band and I'll have a listen there. is the 13 to 14 megahertz region.
not much there. So that's another lesson on the CPK portable receiver. There are some improvements I want to do. First of all, I want to replace the tuning control. The potentiometer supplied has a bit of backlash, which makes tuning in stations difficult. Um, it's 10K, it's 10B, 10K, which means I need to look for a linear 10K potentiometer. Although, as it's a tuning control, and it's probably changing a very active diode. The value is probably not critical. I'd probably be okay with a 20K, but I think it's important that it's linear so that the stations are reasonably well spaced apart. Looking at the circuit, you can see the tuning control is a 10K pot just between the supply line and earth. I've got a 50K pot. I think in this position of the circuit, it would still work. It's much larger than the 10K original physically, and I think it's better quality. So that should remove the backlash problem I had with the tuning. New pot now installed. Really not nowadays, you know, when things don't consider a caravan is splitting your time between two things. Well, that sense of weakness... 24-7, unfortunately, uh, install. It seems to work fine. I had no keys, but I bought this. I don't know. You know, lack of grip. Live across Australia on SEN Track. Giddy Up with Gareth Hall. Welcome back to Giddy Up with Josh G. Victoria Award. Hello there. Got a Enjoy these videos? Want to start in amateur radio? Well, check out my books, Ham Radio Get Started for USA readers and the Australian Ham Radio Handbook for those in Australia. For more information, visit my website, vk3ye.com, or search their titles on Amazon.